Hi everyone. Okay, so today is Sunday, April 2nd, and I am making a video on my turtle works in progress. Yes, it's a mama turtle and 20 babies, and I've got it started. Now, before I do that, a tiny one, one skein yarn haul, kind of, because my sister went and bought me a peach um, skein of yarn. It's a Lion Brand skein tones. <laughs> Pine on skein. S-K-E-I-N instead of skin tones. Um, and it's a Lion Brand, so of course it's it's like their pound of love. It's not really a four, but it says it's a four. So, um, now, I do plan to make a Precious Moments doll from that book that Jenny got me. And so, this will come in handy, making the body of the doll, because this is just the perfect color. When I first got this, when she first gave it to me, I saw a string sticking out of one end. And then it was a little tight on the other side, so I thought, well, let me pull the other end loose. And I did. And the little, that they had it wrapped around and somehow stuck inside, hanging out like that. You know. And it wasn't really the string. So I still got to find the string when I get ready to make the doll. But we got to finish the mama turtle and her babies first. Now, here is what my progress on that. Let me put this down in this bag. My progress. Bag. Turtle bag. Not really a turtle bag. It's come from Walmart, but this is my pro turtle project bag. So, I've got these grouped together. Um, there's ten of them here. Each of them has a match. So, there's five different matches. Um, with that color... And a, a purpley color, more of a ready purple, but this is showing up blue purple. Um, a multicolored, you got one of each. See there, that one, and then like a, a tan color, color on the center, and a pink. So these will be pink shells. Um, for sure. And the others, I haven't really grouped them yet, but I will when I get them finished. I've, I've got five more to do. Um, two more matches and one more to match when I've already just finished. And there's green. Two green. Did I drop it? Yep. I dropped it. Um, yep. I'm dropping things. Put that right there. Um, I had let my niece use that bag for some of her toys, but she hasn't been keeping her toys in it, so I claimed it back in green. And she won't even notice. Because all her toys that were supposed to go in it are mixed in the toys. You know, they were supposed to be kept separate so she could play with her little shopping area thing. But that was a while back, and she, I guess she's tired of those, and on to new things. Her mommy got her one of the beauty salon toy things, and she don't play with that either. And not really. Her nieces, I mean her cousins, my nieces, my great nieces, my, her cousins, play with it. And that one blue. I gotta make another blue, and then I'm going to be making... The aqua green and the other variegated one that I showed you like in the last video. And so that is the progress so far. Let me go ahead and get them back in this bag. Back in the bag. These will be blue for boy. Um, I showed you that too the last time in the last video. Blue for a boy. And um, so... It's going rather quickly. I've only been working on it since Friday. And Friday I got six of those uh, bottom shells done. And I got eight of the 
um, bottom shells done yesterday and today I've started and I've already got one done but I only have five more to do before I start the top shells and so it's going good I'm having to force myself to double crochet into a magic ring it's not as easy as single crochet into the magic ring I gotta fumble with my fingers but anyway also calls for a four millimeter hook now I have this kit and so it has all kinds of sizes and it here I don't have the charging cord in this bag I have it in another bag down below here because I don't keep this with me all the time but anyway so the charging cord would sit there and the hook here this part of the hook the pink part would sit here and all this one goes into this spot and you know that's the smallest 2.5 millimeter that's my favorite size of hook to use with three weight yarn but right now I'm crocheting with four weight yarn and I'm following the directions on the pattern I am following the directions on the pattern I haven't changed anything yet nope even though I dearly do want to change I always want to change patterns I want to change it for the ease of things and the smarter things and sometimes sometimes putting 12 double crochets into a magic ring is not as easy as putting six single crochets into the magic ring and then doubling it up and then doubling it up after because basically you get 12 and then of the double crochet and I'm having a little hard time with some of the four weight yarn closing in that circle at the tug and tug but it's working I'm doing it it's just that some of the yarns are a little thicker and then some of the yarns like Lion Brand's Pound of Love is a little thinner I almost think that the four weight Pound of Love from Lion Brand is almost thinner than their three weight ice cream yarn mm -hmm. and that might be the case for that peach color that I got from them uh, the skein tones um, I'm gonna have to look into more skein tones to get skin colored tones especially if it works out as a three weight instead of a four weight even though it says four weight um, so I have to make that judgment when it comes time to make the doll whether or not to make the three weight the doll make the doll with the skinnier needle since the yarn is on the skinnier side you know sometimes the yarns are on the thicker side sometimes skinner and this time it is closer to a three but you know that can work with that and I'm working with the pound of love pound of love yes it uh, still hasn't even made a dent huh? no dent at all in that now on to another topic spring is definitely for sure here in my area we are having ants come in and I was sitting here crocheting and even though mom has put out a glue trap and they probably have taken it back to their little nest um, they started crawling on me um, but anyway the ants were coming in through the cracks into here um, they normally come into this room and they come into the kitchen mom had already taken care of the kitchen um, she had already put the glue traps and the glue traps were working in the kitchen oh yeah I made more homemade yogurt and my blueberry I did it different this time I didn't use a blueberry jam you know I, I had used the blueberry jam in the past and you know if it has sh sugar in the jam the sugar turns into liquid and it gets between the thick yogurt and the yeah you know, my, my yogurt gets thick I like that um, but it, it gets between the thick yogurt and the um, fruit and it's all liquid and this time what I did is I bought some blueberries and I put them on the stovetop I added one tablespoon only to like a 
good sized container of blueberries. So not much butter. And artificial sweetener stevia, which worked great. Cooked it like I do the mangoes until it was thick and then you know used a potato masher and mashed those blueberries up. There might be a few whole blueberries left over, but not very many. En enough to have chunks of fruit in it with you know a thick blueberry stuff and I then froze it and thawed it when I made the yogurt and I made the yogurt and that was the first one I tested uh, after that day I put it in the fridge you know someone's going down the road can't see it from here but that was um, they're bicycling really quickly but anyway so it was great it hadn't yet had a time in the refrigerator to be totally set up but it was mostly set up and it, it I could tell it was working great and normally the mango is my favorite now I'm gonna like both of them mango and the blueberry I might have to do something different with the coconut if I can't get the coconut not to separate the coconut is having two layers of yogurt the bottom which is thinner and the top which is thicker and it's ha there's a definite separation line and so I'm wondering and I'm going to try the one tablespoon of butter and the stevia only and cook it and see if that will help if that don't help then I'll just find another fruit to use instead of maybe do strawberries maybe strawberries I think maybe strawberries get some strawberries pound up the strawberries you know cut, cut them up and you know, clean them up and put them in the pan and uh, tablespoon of butter and stevia and mash them until cook it until it's a good paste just like I did the mango and the blueberry and that'll work and um, so anyway also we had so many garlics that we've been getting that I took them and I took all the cloves out of the little peel and I put them in a jar and I added some rice vinegar to it and I'm letting them sit and letting the rice vinegar pickle them so to speak and uh, I was checking on them last night now they turn green blue when they're getting when they're ready I think and s most of them are starting to turn they're not all turned so they're still not ready I think you're supposed to let them sit for at least two weeks and it hasn't been two weeks yet but anyway so um, it looks like it's gonna be a nice um, day today and uh, it is Palm Sunday and I, I, I think my church is doing something with the kids going down with Lee's but my niece Natalie probably is not going to want to do that and she's not here right now so I won't get in trouble for a child being in the video I mean before we could it wouldn't matter as much but now we have to be careful about protecting the children's rights and I don't want to have her get in trouble for any of that so no no little kids right now maybe later when I'm uploading this video she'll be back from church and but I won't be making the video at that time um, so anyway um what else is going on? Oh, not much. Except for, well, I kind of ditched the cane inside the house. Just inside the house. Now, when I go outside with the cane, if I don't have to get out at the car when we go there, I'll take the cane with me. And um, I do need help stepping down for my balance. I need help stepping down off of the ramp because there's like a little area of ramp and so I only have one cane and not two canes so I need help getting down off that ramp just a little bit for balance but in the house I'm not using the cane right now I just started that yesterday so you know when my balance is good enough where I can uh, easily get down off that ramp and uh, maybe even when I have to go to a doctor appointment I'm still taking the walker so I can sit in it because getting up from places is not as easy I have trouble with my knees still once in a while well quite a bit if my knees are hurting 
especially have trouble with my knees and um, but they are starting to get a little stronger just a little bit but not back to what it was before and I don't think it'll I mean with my diabetes it probably won't get back to what it was before but anyway things are doing a lot better lately and I'm going ahead and uh, get off of here and um, please subscribe and, and like this video and comment give me a comment um, let me know what you're doing how you're doing and um, what projects you're working on and stuff like that so bye now